Ladies and gentlemen, James Lane here. This is episode 138 of the American Reveille podcast. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're actually watching and not listening, look on the screen right there. This just popped up. I didn't write this. I didn't think of this. It's ad libbed in because I see it right here. Look at this ad on Breitbart. Okay. On a, an article against the left. It's an ad that says Biden's on a roll. May 6, 2021, Biden approves billions in mortgage financial assistance for homeowners. It's literally like Biden's a great guy and you should take money from him. It's probably a scam. It's some freaking ad just using it. But why is there a happy ad for Biden on a freaking article that's not for them. You know what? It just sickens me. It just sickens me. And that's why we need articles like this. That's why we need podcasts like this. Because on episode 138 of the American Revely podcast, I'm going to go over a reoccurring theme that I go over on a lot of our episodes. And I always make it a point when I see a celebrity, someone of importance, or someone I respect doing this, I always make it a point to do a podcast or to call it out. Dave Portnoy is one of my favorite people. I love the One by Pizza reviews. I like Donnie Does from when he goes over to Japan and does all that because I spent some time in Japan when I was in the Navy uh, uh, or well after the Navy too. I was contractor, all that. Listen, I really enjoy Dave Portnoy mostly for what he's done lately, which is help a ton of small businesses survive with the Barstool Fund, where they've actually brought in millions of dollars and helped mom and pop shops and small businesses throughout survive. It's been a really great thing to watch. So when the woke critics go after him, what's he do? Does he apologize? Does he kowtow? All right. Does he kiss their ass? No, he does what Dana White does. He tells them to go fuck themselves. All right. Well, I guess the 18 plus rating is now going on this episodes. Guys, this is episode 138 about, of the American Revely podcast. We're going to talk about Dave Portnoy. We're going to talk about all this shit. We're going to talk again about how you as somebody on the right, whether you're a Republican, whether you're a libertarian, whether you're you're a Democrat who's now a Republican and, and, and is a left leaning Republican trying to figure out who the hell you are, whether you're a conservative, whatever you are. All right. I'm going to talk to you about how you need to approach the left when they come down on you. All right. When the big bad wolf comes to blow your house down, how do you respond? What is the best way? Again, you tell them to go fuck themselves. I don't know how clear I can make it. I'm not monetized. I don't expect to get monetized. I really don't care what YouTube does with this video. I just put it on there for fun. Really, it's on Odyssey. It's on BitChute. It's everywhere else. So really, they can kiss my ass. All right. It's important that we get this stuff out. It's important that you hear the message, Patriot. It's important that you know what to do in case they come after you so that you can get them to stop coming after you. When you apologize to the left, you open the gates to hell. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, James Lane here. This is episode 138 of the American Reveille podcast. We're talking about Dave Portnoy. We're telling you what he tells the critics, a very uh, a specific critic to be exact. It's a magazine in Nantucket. And we'll talk a little more about that. But first, I'm going to tell you to do me a favor. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, hit the five star rating. I need them so I can move up the ranking and Apple puts us back up so that people see what we're doing. There are patriots everywhere. All right. So whether you like Apple or not, I need you to do me that favor so that the patriots hiding amongst the grass can come find us. All right. That is what we need from you. If you're on YouTube, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. But even better is to get off that platform. Jump over to Odyssey, O-D-Y-S-E-E dot -E -E com. I'm there. I'm under American underscore Rev. Email me directly, James Lane at AmericanRevely.com for a special link to sign up. I'm not sponsored by them. I don't know them, but I really, really enjoy putting my videos on their site. I really think that their site is the future. I think that it's going to bust out and be a new YouTube. I really do. You're going to love it when you try it. You really are. It's stable. It's good. It's like Gab. All right. I'm on Gab too. All right. Take a look. Take a look right here. GAB.com. Gab, follow me there, American underscore Reveille. I'm on Gab. I'm on Parlor. All right. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'm all that. I'm shadow banned on all those. So you probably won't find me, but that's where I am. I still have five days left of a seven day band on Facebook, too. So you're not going to get me there either, but you'll get me on Gab. I'll see you there. I'll see you here. 
I'll see you everywhere. All right. I'm not just on Apple Podcasts. I'm on Spotify. I'm on iTunes. All right. I'm on iHeartRadio. Hell, I'm on Audible. You can read uh, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. You can read Jar- uh, Jordan Peterson's Beyond Order, the second book he wrote w- about, you know, in that series, I guess. I don't know. You could read U.S. Grant's uh, 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 memoirs. That's a great one. I've I've read that like seven times. It's my favorite, actually. Uh, and you can also listen to my podcast. That's there, too, right next to U.S. Uh, US Grant's memoirs. Ooh, that's a hard place. Listen. Listen. Please. It just takes you a couple minutes to follow me on these. I'm doing everything I can to break past the censorship law. All right. One of the most important things you can do on top of that is to go into the description section below or go to the website, AmericanRevely.com, and sign up for the newsletter. The newsletter is going to have all our updates, everything we did from the previous week, what we're doing with the company, and it's where I list our contests. And in the next month or so, we're going to announce a $200 grand prize sticker competition. I'm not asking you to make stickers. I got stickers. I'm going to send you stickers, and I have a very special mission for you. So if you want to know about that, you're going to have to sign up for the newsletter, and you know where to find it. Description section. Section below, right below you in the description section, or head over to the website, AmericanRevely.com, hit the newsletter tab. And if you really love this at the end of this, all right, you can go to the same spot, description section or the website. Please give us a donation, whether it's cryptocurrency or cold hard cash through PayPal. We will use it to build up the American Revely's operation and spread the good word across this great nation. That is where every single cent goes. Nothing ever goes in my pocket. I've never taken a dime out of this. It goes right into this. I've put thousands into this, and I plan to put thousands more until the American Revely spreads across this country like a great tidal wave, ladies and gentlemen. And it will. It will, and it's building, and it's all because of you. I thank you guys so, so much for that. I do. I do. I'm so overwhelmed. I'm so up to the gills. I'm so overwhelmed with thankfulness and joy and gratefulness that it caused anxiety. And I had to get a hold of ancientlifeoil.com, A-N-C-I-E-N-T, lifeoil.com. It's actually this thing right here. You see it? Boom. Ancient life oil. It's right over here. Look, it's CBD. You don't do CBD. What's wrong with you? Do you have pain? Do you have back pain? Do your knees hurt? My hips always effed up. My ankles sprained every, I sprained my ankle twice. Nobody told me in my thirties I'd sprain my ankle twice a month. <laughs> Did anyone ever tell you that? How old are you? What do you, sp- you got to tell me in the, in the comment section below, what is always hurting on you? My right hip is killing me right now. And if you see, I'm like slouching slightly because my back is twitching. It's like, clack, 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 because I got nerve damage. Nerve day. If you're like 19 and listening to this, welcome to your future. I'm bald. I'm hairy. My back hurts. Trust me, it's coming. It's coming. But you can do yourself a favor and get on CBD and you can take the edge off that pain. You can take some of the stress away. You can really do some good damage as opposed to some negative damage on yourself by trying CBD out. All right. It comes from hemp oil. It's not psychoactive. You're not going to get high. It's some of the best stuff out there. I think it is the best stuff on the market. USA made. Come on. You've been hearing about it. You've been thinking about it. I thought about it for a long time before I ever tried it. And here it is right here. What? You don't believe me? Watch this. Oh, I take this stuff every day, twice a day. It comes in this really easy eyedropper right here. Look, you see it already set and you mm, put it under your tongue. You'll put it 30 seconds. I just let it roll around in my mouth. Mmm. Mmm, coconuts. If you like coconut oil, mm, it comes in like this coconut base. It's really good. You take it, it builds up, and it just takes the edge off your elbows, your knees, all that stuff. There's a lot of good stuff. This is my personal belief, my personal opinions. You can go online and read all about CBD oil, and it'll back me up. It'll back me up 100%. And you can get this wonderful product, all right? This wonderful product. They sponsor our show, and I wouldn't put it on the show unless I try it, unless I take it, unless I use it myself. And you just saw me use it 100%. Ancientlifeoil.com. Promo code James gets you free shipping and handling. Ancientlifeoil.com. Ancientlifeoil.com. A N C I E N T lifeoil.com ladies and gentlemen promo code james free shipping and handling will get you some great 
great stuff there. It will. Just look it up. And if you don't believe me, stick around a couple minutes after the podcast. I'll play a little ad I put together on Ancient Life Oil. But I have to tell you about it. I want you to try it out. If you haven't, you're truly missing out. All right. And if you try it and you don't want it, you don't like it, anymore, just don't try it anymore. All right. But it's it's my recommendation. You can go with it. You don't have to go with it. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's definitely made a difference for me. And I know it'll make a difference for you guys. What really makes a difference is telling the critics to go fuck themselves when they're messing with you. And that's the absolute God's honest truth. I, I hate to say it like that, but I'm going to be blunt with you because I care. I'm honest with you. I've never BS to. I've always been straight up with you. You've seen these calluses. You know, I'm one of you. That's how I roll. So I wouldn't lie. And the biggest lie ever is that apologizing to the left takes care of business and makes them leave you alone, gives you a free pass, gives you a get out of jail free car. It doesn't. They come after you relentlessly till they destroy you. If you apologize, they take their inch. Then they come back for their mile. They come back for their pounds of flesh, ladies and gentlemen. That's why Dana White tells them to go F themselves. That's why James Woods tells them to go F themselves right? Donald Trump tells them to go F themselves. President Trump, excuse me. Dave Portnoy tells them to go F themselves. You have to. If they come to you and accuse you of things and you apologize, you're admitting to them you did something. And then it's game on from there. They are not mentally or adequately prepared for that battle. They are not mature enough. Most people on the left do not have the toolbox or skill set, the mental toolbox necessary to properly respond to go fuck yourself. They don't. All right. There's obviously a lot more to go fuck yourself than just go fuck yourself. So we'll read a little more about it in a second here. All right. This is from Nolte. Dave Portnoy tells woke critics to go fuck themselves. I really like these articles that come out by Nolte. Is John Nolte. He writes these. This is May 5th. That's when it came out. Barstool Sports founder Dave Portnoy told his woke critics to go fuck themselves. I told you. And hit back at N Magazine calling its managers spineless jellyfish. Listen, I can't wait. You don't know. You don't know. One thing I learned is that bad heat is good heat. All right. Any heat is good heat. When they're talking about you, when your name is up, that's free publicity. That's good stuff. So I don't give a crap. I can't wait for the media to come after me so I can tell them to go F themselves. And that will be a lot of news stories right there, man. It, it, <laughs> but Dave Portnoy is an awesome dude. If you don't know about Dave Portnoy, check his site out, barstoolsports.com. I am modeling a lot of my writing department and other things after his model, not after his genre or what he does or anything, but the, the model in which it's built. We don't have anything like that on the right. And that's how I'm building. And don't worry, American Reveille is trademarked. So good luck. After N Magazine, the N standing for Nantucket, published a positive cover profile of Portnoy and his work to raise money for small businesses bludgeoned by America's anti-science coronavirus shutdowns, some woke crybabies in ritzy Nantucket, excuse me, some woke crybabies in ritzy Nantucket crybabied over offensive remarks and actions he has made in the past. So what did the magazine do? You know what they did. They tucked their tail between their legs. The magazine issued a formal apology on its Facebook page. While the story was intended to highlight Mr. Portnoy's work in support of small businesses, a number of people in the community have taken issue with offensive remarks and actions he has made in the past. We never want to hurt, offend, or disappoint any of our readers with the stories we publish. Accordingly, we formally apologize for any pain caused to those who objected to the may cover. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't. There's just such cowards, such babies, man. The muling gerbils. I like that. Thank you, Nolte, for writing that. The muling gerbils at N Magazine. You know, I don't think I compliment any writer that I read from. All right. Maybe Cassandra Fairbanks or whatever over at, at uh, Gateway Pundit. I, I say some stuff. Or Layla. I say something about Layla once in a while. But, but Nolte. I'm always complimenting Nolte's writing, all right? The mewling gerbils at N Magazine were nowhere near done with their simpering gravel. Our stories are never endorsements of our subjects. We now recognize and acknowledge our oversight in how this story would be received. We appreciate feedback 
positive or otherwise, because ultimately it helps make us a better publication going forward. God, I can't. I can't read it with a straight face or voice. I can't. They're just kissing so much ass. I just imagine that that's what they'd sound like with a freaking funnel in their mouth and just tons of ass, thousands of pounds of ass being funneled down there. For the front of public. <laughs> There's too much ass in my throat. That there, there, there's so much ass they're kissing. I just can't. Portnoy responded, and I'm, when I say kissing ass, they're kissing ass to the woke, the woke revolution. Portnoy responded to all of this in the only way. Pay attention. Anyone ever should respond to the woke Gestapo with naked and profane belligerence. All right. Everybody, are you ready? I should I'm I should portnoy this. Portnoy, what does he sound like? Is that New York or is he more Boston? He's kind of like Portnoy. Let me try. Everybody that doesn't like me, that's way too New York. Everybody, no, maybe he sounds like that. I don't know. Everybody that doesn't like me should go fuck themselves. I don't know. That was more like mix of pesci. I mean, pure pesci would be like, yeah, everybody that doesn't like me should go fuck themselves. Yeah, that was well, that might be like pesci and Gilbert Godfrey. Mix everybody that doesn't like me should go fuck them. So that's more Gilbert Godfrey, I guess. But I think Pesci would be like, Charlie M, you made me put your head in a vice for Charlie M. Yeah, no, that's none of those. None of those whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> none of them being Dave Portnoy. But he said everybody that doesn't like him should go fuck himself. He wrote that in a, uh, a, a comment section. All right. <clears throat> Portnoy told the Post directly, it's unfortunate that the powers that be at N Magazine are spineless jellyfish who are held hostage by the whims of the vocal minority. He said, adding, meanwhile, I'll continue to do my best to make Nantucket and America a better place, while those who hate me can continue to throw cry parties for themselves about how I made a joke they didn't like 20 years ago. And that's the most important thing to understand, folks. It's from 20 years ago. Right. Think about that. Even if it's less than 20 years ago, that's what people are getting in trouble for. They're getting in trouble for the past. I can remember a time, at least reading about times, very, very much like that. I don't know. Lenin was involved in one of those times. Hitler was involved in one of those. Stalin was involved in one. I don't know. I think people should pick up a book before they burn them all. This is the exact right way to respond to these unforgiving woke Nazis and the quizlings like the editors at N Magazine who cower before them. The only language these fascist bullies have no answer for is a fuck and a you is open defiance, all right? It, it's unbridled belligerence. Anyone who responds in any other way is not only behaving immorally, they are inviting the woke Gestapo to bully you right off the face of the earth, to cancel you into oblivion. Did you hear me clearly? You are committing an atrocity by doing anything other than saying fuck you to the left, okay? Christian, Catholic, Jew, or otherwise, I am sorry, but you have to. You have to. If you are Mormon, if you're super, super Christian or Catholic, you can say fudge you, okay? Or like poop off. I don't know. What do you guys say? What do Mormons say when they're trying? I do say that I am totally kind of not happy with this. I mean, I think that's like the maddest Mormons ever get. I don't know. I watched a lot of South Park. There's Mormon episodes on South Park. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to get hate from the Mormon community now. I make jokes. Entertainment business. You never apologize to fascists. You tell them to go fuck themselves, period. End of story. These Nazis, they prey on weakness. They smell it from a mile away like sharks smelling blood in the water, ladies and gentlemen. The very idea that words, that a joke, that an opinion, that an act of insensitivity, that something you are accused of doing a generation ago should deny you or anyone the cover of a magazine is un-American, un-Christian, and flat out immoral. It's the act of bullies looking for a way to force you to kneel. And the only appropriate and moral response to a bully is to tell them to go fuck themselves. 
If there's anyone who'd like to give me any other responses to bullies or any stories about how you've responded to a bully, put in the comments section below. I'd love to hear it. And if you give me a really juicy one, if a lot of people put a lot of comments, I get a really awesome story, I'll post it on social media. I will. I promise. It'll be awesome. Or And if you don't want it there or you want an anonymous name, you can let me know. Just put it in there when you write the story. I want to hear about it in the comment section below. More people need to learn this a whole lot more. And I agree. I agree with Nolte. You need to grow some balls, ladies and gentlemen. You need some spine, some backbone. All right. It's scary. It's always going to be scary. But what's scarier? Living with regret and fear or facing your fear and going through the fear with courage and at least completing the task. All right. You're, let me tell you a secret about life, ladies and gentlemen. No matter what task it is, no matter what feat you're trying to accomplish, it will always be scary. scary. It'll always involve courage. And you need to stand up and fight, ladies and gentlemen. You need to open your mouth and you need to use your First Amendment. You need to speak up. You need to tell the left when they come a knock in to go fuck themselves. All right. It's true. It's damn true. And Dave Portnoy shows us that. Dana White shows us that. So many great examples, ladies and gentlemen. So many great examples. All right. I don't have to tell you how many great examples. You should know Dana White, James Wood, Dave Portnoy. All right. So many people. We've had rockers coming out lately. Punk rockers. I, I, all kinds of people. There's a title. Don't you feel it? Out there in the distance, all this leftism, all this hate, all this radicalism, all this hypocrisy, it all caused a tidal wave to start forming out in the ocean, a tidal wave of everything from libertarianism to conservatism rising hundreds of feet into the sky, 10, 20, 50, 100, 10,000 feet into the sky, ready to cover this entire country. All right. The change is coming. And the change has nothing to do with what the left thinks it has to do with. It doesn't whatsoever. They're in for a surprise. But my challenge to you on the right, all right, my challenge to you is this. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for your neighbors. Stand up for your community. When they come for you, take a cue from Dave Portnoy. Take a cue from, uh, 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 from all of these people. Dana White, take a cue from them and tell your bullies to go fuck themselves. Tell the woke left to go fuck themselves. All right? There is no excuse. My challenge to you is simple. Stand up. Wake up. Speak out. All right? We're not going to take this anymore. And when that wave comes, and when we take the house in 2022, and when we make the changes in 2024, and when we push the, the woke ideology back all the way to the sea, then it's our chance to stand on that moral high ground, that righteous high ground, and do the right thing. I want you to remember something. There's going to come a point where we're going to have to show some tolerance. There's going to come a point where we're going to have to find a balance. But first, we have to beat them back. All right. They are our neighbors as much as we don't get along. So we have to find a way to get along, even if it's if it's going back to states being more independent and certain cultures being in certain states. I don't know. I don't know how. That's not my job. But my job is to tell you this. The right will take charge, but the right has to be very, very careful. If you overstep your boundaries, if we severely punish the left, you're going to create the same monster they created in us when they not only took office and stole it, but then punished us and continue to punish us. They're building that tidal wave out in the sea. All right. So remember, when we flood in and restore the balance, we must keep the balance. All right. Too much of anything is a bad thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so much respect to Dave Portnoy, much respect to all of the people that stand up and much respect to you. Take a lesson. Don't 
ever apologize to the left. Thank you guys so much for watching episode 138 of the American Revely podcast. It was a little shorty, a little shouty, a shouty episode, but a shouty episode is a good episode and Dave Portnoy is worth it. Whether this topic is trending or not, I don't care. I promised I would always report and talk about and entertain you with stories of people that I find to be important telling the left to go fuck themselves. And here is a prime example. So Mr. Portnoy, Mr. Portnoy, excuse me, I tip my hat to you, good sir. I remind you all, ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe. Please sign up for the newsletter. Please follow along and please stick around just for a couple seconds here for a quick ad I put together for this amazing CBD oil, Ancient Life Oil. Go to ancientlifeoil.com. Use promo code James. Free shipping and handling. If you haven't tried CBD oil, you are on another planet because you're obviously not living in reality. It's 2021. Your shit hurts. Try some of it. It's really good. All right. It really is. And it's legal everywhere. All right. I think pretty, pretty much everywhere. I mean, they, listen, if it's not legal where you are, they won't ship it to you, but it's not. <laughs> it doesn't have anything in it. So I don't know why it would be illegal. It just has the, the natural stuff. All right. The good stuff. All right. But I don't even need to, to go on and on about that. All right. I don't. I just want you to know that you guys have been amazing. All right. You are playing your part. You're doing your thing. You are doing what you're supposed to do in this. You're standing up. You're speaking out. You're following along with all of us folks that are speaking the truth. You're, you're sticking around for the good fight. All right. And we need you. We need you to keep pushing the left back. Keep fighting the woke ideology in your local place, your cities, your towns, the school boards, everywhere. All right. Use your words, use your rights and push back. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. And I will see you in episode 139 of the American Revely podcast. Bye. Let, let me get your attention for a second. I want to tell you about something. I want to share something with you that's very near and dear to me. All right, guys, I have joint pain. I'm sure it's no secret by now, all right? I have joint pain, hip pain, I have elbow pain, I have inflammation, all right? I get stressed out. I'm going through so much political news doing this podcast, so much. You can imagine how stressful that is, all right? How much anxiety that can cause, how many sleepless nights I have. But folks, I've been taking CBD oil for a while now. All right, for a while now, and it's fantastic. And a while ago, just a little while ago, I came across Ancient Life Oil, all right? And I got it from ancientlifeoil.com. And this stuff is fantastic, all right? It's the best source, the best and most trusted source for CBD oil in the United States. It's 100% pure, it's 100% THC free, no psychoactive uh, uh, effects, no high, nothing like that, just pure CBD, pure relief from all of those issues, relief from sleep sleeplessness, relief from anxiety, relief from stress, from uh, 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 from inflammation, right? Uh, relief from joint pain, relief from all of these things that could really hinder your daily life, your daily activities, really put you in a bad place. This stuff lifts your mood up. It's fantastic. All right. It's legal in all 50 states. People are, 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 really experiencing wonderful change in their life, basically doing something that people have been doing for thousands of years, guys. If you head to ancientlifeoil.com, ancientlifeoil.com, the same place I went, all right, the same place I went to get the stuff, you can go on there, use promo code James, J-A-M-E-S, at ancientlifeoil.com, A-N-C-I-E-N-T, -E -E life oil, A-N-C-I-E-N-T, lifeoil.com promo code james j-a-m-e-s promo code james free shipping and delivery folks free shipping and delivery guys this is a great product you are missing out if you need to do cbd and you're just not doing it for some reason guys i don't know what's stopping you anymore it's 2021 folks if you want relief from these issues you want to do it in a natural way without taking medications you want to do it in a way that's helpful i have found cbd oil to be very beneficial and i believe it will be very beneficial for you as well so one more time ancientlifeoil.com a-n-c-i-e-n-t lifeoil.com promo code james promo code james free shipping and delivery folks give it a shot i really really know it'll make you a believer just like I am. All right, folks, let's get back to the show.